Hi, I'm Samantha McDouglas from TheBridgeTeachers.com. Come look over my shoulder at a bidding problem. On this hand, we were the dealer. The person who held our hand opened one club, showing three or more clubs and an opening hand or better. The person sitting on our left bid one heart. Our partner passed. And our right-hand opponent bid two hearts. So I would assume that one heart would be 8 to 16 points with five or more hearts, and then most people play two hearts as some sort of weak bid, either 6 to 9 or 0 to 9. If they're playing level the fit, it's probably 0 to 9 with three hearts exactly. Now it's our turn to bid. What would you bid? I would double. There are a couple of reasons for this. Before we get into it, let's talk about what double says. So this is essentially a takeout double made by opener. We call it a reopening double, which is a fancy way of saying we're just sort of keeping the auction going. We open the auction and now we're opening it again because we don't want it to be over. And essentially what it is is shortness in the opponent's suit, support for the other three suits, and a good hand. So very much like a takeout double that overcaller would make, except that it's being made by opener. So what do I mean by good hand? When I first learned this back in the dim and misty, um, I was taught 16 or more points, so a really good hand. And what I found is the game has become more aggressive. And what I would usually say is the better your shape is, the less points you need. You obviously have an opening hand because you opened the bidding. So if you have really, really great shape, maybe you're doing it with less than 16 points. And if you're kind of balanced, you probably have about 16 points. You kind of want to use the more shape I have, the less points I need, the less shape I have, the more points I need, which really does carry through in most of our bidding. As we talk about why we would make this bid and why we would strive to make this bid, you're going to see some reasons why we might do it with a weaker hand than 16. So let's talk about why. Why would we make this bid? There are two reasons. The first reason is that double is a lot more descriptive than three clubs, for instance. Three clubs is only going to tell partner that you have a good intermediate or better hand with a six card or longer club suit, which is really only showing six cards in your hand. And even if you bid three diamonds, which would now show nine cards in your hand, because when you bid the diamonds, you're promising four, and the only reason you would bid the clubs first is if they were longer giving you a minimum of five clubs and a minimum of four diamonds, still more descriptive than three clubs, but not quite as descriptive as the double. The double is really descriptive because it tells partner, hey, I'm short in hearts and I have support for the other three suits. So it really describes almost the entire hand. So it's very useful. But there is another more important reason to make the reopening double. And that has to do with partners. Now, the person who held our hand did bid three clubs, and the auction went pass, pass, pass. In this case, if they had made a reopening double, the auction still would go pass, pass, pass. We meant this as a takeout double. Why is the partner passing? So any artificial bid can be converted to a natural bid with the act of passing. In other words, partner has taken our takeout double and they have converted it to penalty by passing. The natural meaning of double is penalty. I don't think you can make that, so I'm increasing the points for it. And we can convert any artificial double to penalty by passing, which is what has happened here. So why would partner do that? Well, as you might guess from our lack of hearts, partner has a lot of hearts. Let's look at partner's hand. So partner could have bid one no trump on the first round of the auction, but instead what partner did was a trap pass. So what is a trap pass? A trap pass is when we can't double for penalty because our double would be artificial, so we pass hoping that partner will double and we can convert, which is exactly what has happened here. So if you go back, if partner were to double here, it would show four spades and six or more points. Partner can't make a penalty double because this is a negative double. If partner wants to make a negative double, they have to pass and hope that we reopen. 
So let's look at that again. Now when we double, intending it as takeout, hey partner, please bid another suit, partner can convert our reopening double to penalty by passing. Now the auction is two hearts doubled, which is actually a great place for the partnership. You can see that the opponents are not gonna take very many tricks. Partner's going to take at least three heart tricks. Together we are going to take at least two club tricks, at least two diamond tricks, and one spade trick. Two hearts is not going to do well, and at these colors, where east-west are vulnerable and north-south are not, this is going to be a fantastic board for us. Even though we're making three no trump, it's still going to be a better score setting the opponents. Three no trump, non-vulnerable, is worth 400 points. Assuming that the opponents will go down three, which I think is likely here, doubled vulnerable, that's 800 points. Much, much better than our game. Now, it is true that we can make six clubs, but I think you'll find it's very difficult to bid that with this hand, and not a lot of people are going to get there. I think that doubling the opponents in two hearts is probably going to net you a near top board. For our purposes, the technique is very important. Understanding that our partner might be making a trap pass, hoping to penalize the opponents, we want to lean towards making the reopening double anytime we can justify it. And that is why we might be a little bit more aggressive, especially if we have great shape, if we have reason to believe that that may be the case. Definitely something to think about. Thank you. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe.